Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Charles Edgar Hampton. I have a bachelor's of English from Clark Atlanta University. I have a master's of education from Mercer University. I have an instructional technology specialist degree from Georgia Southern University, and I'm currently finishing up a PhD in instructional technology from Georgia State University. But nonetheless, there are still people who will just consider that I simply fit the description. And as Bill O'Reilly says, that description would be an ill-educated African-American male with a forehead tattoo. I build custom multimedia computers, refurbish laptops, maintain and administer file, web, and soon Java and Apache servers, as well as troubleshoot Macs, PCs, mobile devices, and laptops for researchers who are seeking ways to detect, diagnose, and cure cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. But to some, I'm simply a criminal. I tutor physical science and college algebra at Clark Atlanta University and was promoted to supplemental instructor. Also, I tutored at Sylvan Learning Center. After that, I taught high school English and mathematics for seven and a half years at minority low-income schools, functioning as a positive male role model and father figure to thousands of young people. But to some, I am just an arrogant thug. I have coached golf, cross-country, mentored and tutored with the Upward Bound program, which helps first-generation college students succeed and even help prepare now active duty soldiers to better serve their country by volunteering with the Army Explorers and trying to get a JROTC program started at one of my former schools. But some just say I'm a nigger. Here, short and simply, is what I have to say. There is no war on cops. However, there is a double standard for African Americans and European Americans. African Americans, a minority, are killed at a much higher rate than European Americans, the majority. Policing originated from the need to control African American slaves, current and former. Police rarely face consequences for harming or killing African Americans. African Americans suffering from violence are most times told and expected to forgive and forget. Be Christ-like, Christian. African American tactics for going forward toward a healthier, viable future should do the following. If there is no justice for our slain brothers and sisters, then there will be no economic outpouring. We must hit them in the pockets. We have to stop black consumerism. We need to get into our communities. We need to mentor. We need to serve the young people. We need to have higher standards of personal accountability for ourselves parents, for children, family members, for relatives, household members, etc., etc. We have to have a sense of black pride, but again, we have to first give ourselves something to be proud of. Intellectual militancy is the way to go. You can clearly see that throughout history, certain, whatever, European Americans or colonists have proven themselves to be the most barbaric people of all time. So don't even give them the opportunity to shine. We need to divest, be smart with our money. Again, black dollars matter, so black lives should matter. If black lives don't matter, then they won't get our money. Stop black consumerism. Let's hit them in the pockets. Thank you. Want to do a quick little follow-up. If you watched the video to this extent, then I just wanted to say thank you. I sincerely appreciate it. Um, I wish us all well. I hope we continue to make better decisions. I hope that we continue to operate in peace and in pragmatism. 
where we think about the consequences and not in a negative way, just what are the outcomes of whatever decisions that we make. Hence me advocating for an economic pushback as opposed to simply marching. All right, can we make some donations to the rival candidates of the judges and other people that are in the justice system that are not prosecuting and not adequately getting not only indictments but convictions? All right, this has to change. We need to do whatever we can do that is morally and legally in our uh, capacity to bring about the change that we want. But again, like Lauren Hill said, how you gonna win when you ain't right within? Michael Jackson said, look at the man in the mirror. Old school says charity starts at home. All right, let's look to ourselves. And as Booker T. Washington said, pull ourselves up by the bootstraps. Let's get our own house in order. So that then when this happens again, we can say, look, we're not criminals. We're not thugs. Look at these reports. Look at our test scores. Look at our businesses. All right. Look at the statistics. Look at our political involvement. I am advocating, as always, intellectual militancy. Let's be pragmatic. What we need to do, particularly African Americans in this country, is end black consumerism. If black lives don't matter, then black dollars don't matter. We need to mentor. We need to get involved in our communities. We need to divest in a society and culture, economy and system that does whatever it can to destroy us and oppress us. Keep your money in your community however you can. Get back in the community. Reach out. Volunteer. Get into the YMCA. Get into the Boys and Girls Club. Get active and start making a positive difference. Let's stop being and glorifying the criminal culture. If black lives don't matter, black dollars don't matter. If they don't respect us, if they're not going to protect us, if they are not going to speak out, they don't get our money. They don't deserve our support. I do understand that there are limited economic opportunities out there. However, we are more than creative enough and resilient enough to do what we can to uplift ourselves. Brothers and sisters, we are highly intelligent, creative, and resilient enough to create the opportunities in our community that we want and that we need. Let's mentor. Let's get involved in our communities. Let's have some black pride again. Just wanted to do a follow-up. You know, it took me a while to do this. I actually stayed up all night. It was very tiring, very time-consuming. Um, but I really wanted to do a good job, and I wanted to do something rather than just sit on my butt. Um, a lot of times we will say, oh, I don't have time, or oh, I'm tired. I thought about doing this in a suit, and then I was like, well, why do I have to put on their clothes? I love everybody. I wish everyone the best. Think and act. Be indignant. Be wise. Be shrewd. Be cunning. But of all things, be effective. Let's hit them in the pockets.